The first wild card playoff game in Major League Baseball history. Chipper Jones getting ready could be the last game of his career as Chris Medlin starting for the Braves. Atlanta has won his last 23 starts, a Major League record, and in the top of the second, Medlin facing Yadier Molina. 1-1 pitch, swinging a fly ball, right field and deep, battling the Sun Hayward to the track, feeling for the wall, leaping. He made the catch! He brought it back, Jason Hayward! Leaping at the top of the fence, timed it perfectly and brought the snow cone back. Courtesy of WCNN, a magnificent play by Hayward. Molina can't believe it to the bottom of the second. Kyle Loesch on the hill for the Redbirds. He's 16-3 and three on the year, facing David Ross, getting the start for Brian McCann. On a 1-2 pitch, looks like Ross strikes out, but he called time beforehand. It's granted, and so Ross gets another chance, and on the very next pitch, he takes advantage. 1-2 coming. Fly ball deep to left field. That ball's got a chance. That ball's gone. David Ross has put the Braves in front two to nothing. WCNN with the call again. Looks like a brilliant move by Freddie Gonzalez to start Ross over McCann to the fourth. Matt Holiday with a man on ground ball to third. Chipper Jones throws the ball away, though. So on the error, Carlos Beltran goes to third. Runners on the corners now. And the next batter is Alan Craig. And Craig hits this one deep. It's going to be up against the wall. That will score Beltran. The RBI double makes it 2-1 Atlanta. After an RBI ground out ties the game at two. Last year's postseason hero, David Freeze steps in and Freeze hitting this one to center. Craig tagging from third on the sack fly. He will score 3-2 Cardinals. So let's go to the bottom of the fourth. Braves now threatening with runners on the corners. One out and Andrelton Simmons at the plate. Here's a bunt that Loesch gets to. It, and oh, the throw wow. hit the runner. And now it's a dead ball. The throw hit dead the runner. Ball, he was in fair out. play. You're He's right, going to be out. Yeah. They're going to bring the runners back Everybody because back. Simmons was running in fair territory when he was hit by the throw. They'll boo like the Dickens when they find out what's going on here. And you see it again. Simmons clearly in fair territory. KMOX with the call, and so it remains 3-2 Cardinals. Next batter, Medlin, he strikes out, so St. Louis escapes with no damage. Simmons disappointed in the dugout to the top of the sixth. Matt Holiday at the plate looking to extend the St. Louis lead. We're hanging a long one in the left. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Oh, yeah. Holiday goes deep, and the Cardinals lead it 4-2. to two. And that was on a 1-2 pitch, his eighth career postseason home run. Courtesy of KMOX as we go to the top of the seventh. Freeze at the plate, and Freeze a ground ball to second. Dan Ugla bobbles, then throws it away, so Freeze going to go to second on the error, and the Cards have a man in scoring position later in the inning. Now a man on third, Pete Cosma hits one towards short. Simmons plays it, throws home and throws it away. So that allows Adrian Chambers to score. Makes it 5-2 Cardinals. Third error of the game for Atlanta. They had the best fielding percentage in the NL this season. Next batter, pinch hitter Matt Carpenter facing Johnny Venters. Hits one. Venters going to try to tag Carpenter on the way by, but he's ruled safe. And so Cosma going to score all the way from second to make it 6-2 St. Louis. You see it again. Very close at as to whether Venters got the tag on Carpenter, but in any case, it's a four-run St. Louis lead to the bottom of the seventh. Now a 6-3 game. Braves threatening runners on second and third, two out. Jones at the plate, and he grounds one to second. Daniel Descalzo has it, throws to first in time, inning over to the bottom of the eighth. Mitchell Boggs on first and second, one out. Simmons at the plate. And Simmons with a shallow fly ball. Out goes Cosma. In comes Holiday. Neither one has it. It drops. So it looks like the bases are going to be loaded. But hold on. Left field's umpire Sam Holbrook calls the infield fly rule. And so the runners go to second and third. Simmons is ruled out. Freddie Gonzalez can't believe it. Check this one out again. Out goes Cosma. In comes Holiday. Now look at the left field umpire Holbrook right there. He calls the infield fly rule so that's where the runners advance but Simmons is out then debris starts to be thrown on the field so the Cardinals hover in their dugout and and obviously a lot of emotion on this call a crucial play in the game Freddie Gonzalez would put the game under protest the umpires would call upstairs confer with league officials who rejected the protest so after a 19 minute delay Jason Mott comes in to pitch and after walking pinch hitter Brian McCann the base is loaded with two out for Mike Michael Bourne. The 3-2 to Bourne. Swing and a miss. He struck him out.
KMOX with the call as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Chipper Jones stepping up in what may be the last at bat of his career and listen to the rousing ovation from the crowd. He's meant so much to this franchise and taking a deep breath as he steps in and grounds this one to second. Descalzo throwing, but Craig is ruled off the bag, so Chipper is safe, and the game continues. You see it again, and it looks like Craig may have gotten his foot back on the bag before Chipper reached it, but in any case, the next batter, Freddie Freeman, he hits this one into the gap. Brown ruled double, puts runners on second and third. So, second and third, two out, and Dan Ugla steps in representing the tying run. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. Second baseman has it. Throw. Redbirds win this one, and we're coming for Division Series play. KMOX with the call again, so Chipper will retire with the Brave season now over. Card celebrating in the clubhouse, 6-3 the final. St. Louis was 1-5 against Atlanta in the regular season and had the weaker regular season record, but the Redbirds are the ones advancing to the NLDS to take on the Nationals. Game 1 Sunday in St. Louis at 3 p.m. Eastern. The Braves are eliminated. Atlanta committed an NLO 86 errors during the season. Had three in this game, though, leading to four unearned runs.